My name is John Westervelt. I was in the U.S. Naval Reserve. I was enlisted in the combat air crew and went through avi aviation readyman training. And then the aviation cadet program opened up, so I took the test and passed. And uh, then in uh, April of 1946, the war was over and they had too many in the naval aviation program, so I was separated as aviation cadet and then a few months later discharged as aviation cadet. My name is William V. Bergstrom. I went in the military. I wanted to fly. I was not able to get into flying because I only had one year of college. So I signed up to go to the uh, aircraft mechanic school in Rantoul, Illinois, and signed up for that. And graduated on December the 5th, 1941 as an aircraft mechanic. I got orders to report to uh, San Antonio for flight training. That was in October the 9th, 1942. I finished my training and obtained my wings. My name is William F. Pierce, P-E-A-R-C-E. -E. I'm known as Bill. I was a navigator and bombardier in World War II, and my last few, four or five missions were to Berlin, and that's when Hitler said for every bomb dropped in Berlin, he was going to drop 10 in England, et cetera. And he pulled all the flat guns in Western Europe back to defend Berlin and we go down the bomb run and the flak was literally so thick you could get out and walk on it. And our fighter escort and P-51s would take one look at that and said, we'll see you on the other side. And I thought, that's the smartest guys I know. If I ever get in another airplane, it's gonna be all by myself. So that's when I decided to become a fighter pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please. I am Staff Sergeant Petrie of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. A ceremony that you are about to witness 
is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Thank you. your orders. Ho oh, and order. Remain as directed. Orders acknowledged. Ready. Wait. Present. Present.
My name is uh, Bill Williams. I was in the um, Navy, the U.S. Navy, and I served from uh, 1944, late uh, fall of 44 to the, the uh, fall of uh, 1946 or the summer of 46. And I uh, went in the Navy, uh, uh, enlisted in a reserve program, which was the uh, V6 program. It was com to train combat air crewmen. I wanted to know uh, uh, your feelings about the honor flight visit and, and what it meant to you. I thought it was extremely well done and it gave us a chance to uh, uh, appreciate what, all the work that went into to arranging that flight and to see the four monuments in 36 hours was amazing. Well, it was uh, a great opportunity, I thought, and uh, I uh, took a hold of the idea real good, and it was a fantastic trip. That's the greatest thing that ever happened in my military life whatsoever. It's fantastic. The job was done up to a T, you had a surprise every time you turned around. It's uh, unbelievable that anybody that hasn't seen the memorial for World War II veterans should certainly do it. I had been to uh, uh, the, there in early 46 when I was in the Navy, I just, and all that was there then was probably the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and, and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So it was wonderful to see um, all the other monuments, particularly the World War II Monument, and uh, to be on a trip where, where everything was done, such precision, military precision, everything, um, and that uh, was, uh, very, very wonderful. It brought many tears to a lot of people, including me, the way that it was handled and the crowning blow coming home and having mail call. It's just unbelievable. Dearest Daddy, I hope your honor flight trip to DC has been good. I'm sure you've made some new friends and enjoyed the trip. Thank you so much for your service to our country in the US Navy. I have always been so proud of the great U.S. citizen you are, and serving in the armed forces was one of the best and biggest ways to save, to serve your country. I did get two letters uh, that uh, from people that I didn't know, my son knew, and and uh, I, I and they were very, uh, very, very nice, nice letters. Uh, and um, I, I don't think I want to read them, but I, I like uh, I show them to anybody who, who was interested. So my son asked me if I was going to open them on the airplane. I says I wouldn't dare open the airplane and let people see the tears run from, from my eyes. It made my day. It made my whole life. I feel I'm complete in the military right now.